The two world's biggest economies have battled each other for oil in the past decade. Now the battle continues for a new resource, one more precious than even oil, semiconductors. The chips that literally power our daily life. These tiny fragments of silicone are at the heart of a $500 billion industry that's expected to double by 2030. And whoever controls the supply chains, a tangled network of companies and countries that make the chips, holds the key to being an unrivaled superpower. China wants the technology to produce chips. That's why the US, a source of much of the tech, is cutting Beijing off. In this video, we're diving deep into the China versus United States microchip war. Welcome to the Seeker's Edge, where we seek knowledge that'll give you an edge in life. Let's begin. In order to understand the microchip war, we must first learn why semiconductors are so important. Semiconductors are a crucial component of modern technology, playing a key role in everything from smartphones and computers to electric vehicles and renewable energy systems. These advanced chips are also used to power supercomputers, artificial intelligence too, and military hardware, the whole shebang. As a result, countries around the world are fiercely competing to dominate the global semiconductor industry. One of the most significant battles in this competition is taking place between China and the United States. Both countries have invested heavily in semiconductor research and development, with the aim of becoming the global leader in the industry. The importance of semiconductors cannot be overstated. They are the building blocks of modern electronics, providing the foundation for the digital revolution that's transformed virtually every aspect of our lives. From the internet to social media, from e-commerce to mobile banking, semiconductors are at the heart of the technological innovations that have reshaped the world in the recent decades. Given their importance, it's not surprising that the global semiconductor industry is a high-stakes arena of international competition. Countries that succeed in developing cutting-edge semiconductor technology will not only reap enormous economic rewards, but will also gain a significant strategic advantage in a wide range of industries. As China and the United States compete for dominance in the semiconductor industry, the outcome of this battle will have profound implications for the global economy and for the future of technological innovation. The semiconductor industry has a long and fascinating history that's been shaped by a variety of factors. Since the 1960s, there's been an exponential improvement in semiconductor technology, while the number of transistors that can be placed on a chip increase dramatically over time. This improvement has been driven in advances in material science, computer-aided design tools, and manufacturing processes. One of the key drivers of this improvement has been the U.S. government's belief in computing as a core determinant of the nation's power. In the 1960s and 70s, the U.S. government formed partnerships with chip companies like Intel, IBM, and Texas Instruments to help fund research and development in this industry. These partnerships were highly successful, leading to the development of some of the most important computing technologies of the era, including the microprocessor. However, over time, most of the manufacturing chips in the U.S. have become increasingly expensive. This led many chip companies to shift their manufacturing operations to other countries where labor was cheaper. This shift had a significant impact on the industry, with countries like Taiwan, South Korea, and China becoming major players in the semiconductor global market. Companies like Samsung and TASMC, Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, started growing and becoming major players in the semiconductor market. TSMC is the world's biggest chip maker and the majority supplier to Apple. More recently, the US government has become concerned about the national security implications of relying on foreign-made chips. In particular, the government has placed a ban on sharing certain types of technology with rival nations like China, which has a major impact on China's semiconductor industry. The US government has taken steps to ramp up domestic production of chips. One such effort is the Chips and Science Act, a bipartisan bill introduced in Congress in 2021 of June. The bill proposes $52 billion in funding over five years to support the development and manufacturing of semiconductors in the U.S., as well as research in related fields such as artificial intelligence and quantum computing. In addition to government efforts, U.S.-based chip manufacturers have also been investing in domestic production. Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, TSMC, the world's largest contract chip maker, announced plans in May 2021 to invest $12 billion into a new factory in Arizona, which is expected to begin production in 2024. Similarly, Micron Technology, a US-based memory chip maker, has announced plans to invest $3 billion in its Virginia factory to increase production capacity. These investments in domestic chip production are seen as crucial for the US to reduce its reliance on foreign sales of semiconductors, particularly from China, and to ensure a stable supply of chips for key industries such as automotive and consumer electronics, the United States is very determined to win the microchip war, and it's doing everything in its power to hamper China's progress. In 2022, Washington announced some of the broadest export controls yet, requiring licenses for companies exporting chips to China using U.S. tools or software, no matter where they're made in the world. 
Washington measures also prevent U.S. citizens and green card holders from working for certain Chinese chip companies. Green card holders are U.S. permanent residents who have the right to work in the country. It is cutting off a key pipeline of American talent to China, which will affect the development of high-end semiconductors. The Biden administration has added 36 more Chinese companies, including major chipmaker YMTC to Washington's entity list. It means American companies will need government permission to sell certain technologies to them, and that permission is difficult to secure. The U.S. restrictions have broad implications. Last week, the U.S. space computer chip manufacturer Arm confirmed that it's not selling its most advanced designs to Chinese firms, including tech giant Alibaba because of U.K. and U.S. controls. China has initiated legal action against the United States at the World Trade Organization over the export controls it's imposed on semiconductors and other related technology. This marks the first time Beijing has taken such a step since the U.S. President Joe Biden assumed office in January of 2021. China has accused the U.S. of exploiting export controls to maintain its dominance in the fields of science, technology, engineering, and manufacturing. Furthermore, China has claimed that the U.S.'s actions pose a threat to the stability of global industrial supply chains. In response, the U.S. has stated that the WTO is not an appropriate platform for addressing concerns pertaining to national security. With all of these restrictions, China has been hit extremely hard because it both imports the hardware and the talent for the domestic production of microchips. But it's not stopping China from fighting back. The country is still investing heavily in the semiconductor industry to become a global leader in chip production. The country's Made in China 2025 initiative aims to transform China into a high-tech manufacturing powerhouse and has identified semiconductors as a key area for development. The Chinese government has provided significant funding to local chip companies and has also encouraged foreign chip makers to set up operations in China. The outcome of the chip war remains uncertain. However, it's clear that the control of the chip supply chain has become a critical component of global economic competitiveness. The ability to produce the most advanced and efficient chips will have significant implications for industries ranging from telecommunications to healthcare. It's likely that the US and China will continue to compete fiercely in the chip market for years to come, with both countries investing heavily in research and development to gain an advantage. In conclusion, the semiconductor industry has been shaped by various historical events and factors. The exponential improvement of semiconductors since the 1960s, as well as the U.S. government's belief in computing as a core determinant of nation's power, led to the partnership between the U.S. government and chip companies. However, the shift of chip manufacturing to other companies for cheaper labor has led to the U.S. government's ban on sharing technology with rifles, which has had an impact on China's semiconductor industry. China has responded by investing in its own chip companies to catch up and reduce reliance on imported silicon, as well as creating a su supply chain within the country to reduce the risk of relying on imported silicon. The increasing competition and tensions between China and the U.S. in the semiconductor industry have significant implications for global technology and security, as computer chips become essential components for a wide range of products and industries, including military technology. A lack of access to cutting-edge chip technology could put a country at a disadvantage. The current state of tensions between the U.S. and China in the semiconductor industry could lead to further decoupling, with countries being forced to choose sides in the competition for technological dominance. So who do you think is going to win the microchip war? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and make sure you subscribe to The Seeker's Edge. Until next time.